Okay, uh, now we're on the sanding part where I'm going to use a Dremel sanding tip uh, to do the rough shaping and then I'm going to uh, take off the excess uh, weld that I have on all of the edges. As you can see the it's, it's built up to where it's thick and I'm going to I'm going to buzz it down so that I can see the plastic on the on the surface but it leaves the weld in between the cracks so it makes it makes a nice smooth or na nice level uh, edge so I put my Dremel on the lowest setting and I shape the, the surface face of the piece I'm going to lightly press on the surface face so I don't make grooves in it with the barrel. So I've sanded the face level. And I do this with all all the sides. This will be the, the actual sticker face here. And I'm just lightly taking the top layer off down to the plastic. Just like that. Like I said, you want to make sure that you don't press too hard because this is a heavy grade sandpaper on this tip. So I'm pressing just enough to take away the excess. And level it out. I can tell I've gone far enough down when I see the plastic underneath getting scraped rather than just the weld part. See, and then you can see that the plastic has been scraped down nice and level, but there's going to be there's scratch marks on it from the from the sanding surface of the tip. But this is the fastest way to sand down and still keep the grooves filled with the with the weld putty. Uh, if there's putty that gets on the inside of your puzzle we're going to come back later 
and show you how to take off interior excess putty weld with a different tip but I use this barrel tip to level out the surface. So I'm going to do this piece right now here too. Show you the same process. Just like that. And it's nice and flat and smooth. If you're doing this with a, a cube puzzle, you can also do this on a belt sander by placing the flat surface flat on a on a on a belt sander or a a rotary sander flat. Uh, but since this is kind of curved a little bit. I'm doing a little bit by hand at a time and that curved surface on the Terraminx makes it a little bit more difficult to get the the whole thing level but like I said to do that I just burn down into where I start to hit plastic when I, when I do that and I can see the the seams then I know that it's pretty much level and, and as smooth as I'm going to get it and we're going to come back and do the interior. As you can see, the, the putty on the interior is built up all the way to the back inside. And I'm going to have to use a different tip. And I'll come back to show you how to get that. Uh, for this part, we're going to get the inside of the cracks down in where the the JB weld has has gone into the edge on the inside and what I'm going to use is this sandpaper wheel that I put on the end of the Dremel and you just sort of sand off the excess that has fallen in between the edges of the of the piece. just like that. Uh, that'll ensure that the, the pieces will slide smoother on the inside. And now that I've finished sanding it with the Dremel, it has uh, rough sanding marks on it. So I'm going to take those off with the uh, wet sandpaper. So I have I have 400 grade wet sandpaper. I have a bowl of water. What you do is uh, you wet the paper and you just use the surface of the table as your hard surface and you 
sand it down. And once you have all the surfaces clean, get all three of them here. Get all the rough sanding marks out from the Dremel. Then you can work on the edges. And some of the edges have a small lip in them where the the putty didn't quite go all the way down into the crack and it leaves a little little ripple so what you do is you just lightly sand that edge and smooth out that little gap And that makes that gap a little smaller and it makes that line a lot straighter. As you can see this one has this one has that little little ripple in it. So I sand that edge down a little bit. When you paint it, it'll build up that edge a little bit more. See, uh, now it's a little straighter. So what you do is you take all the ripples out of those edges. Once you have all your edges straight and the surface is smooth like this, on the inside, where if you filled in a visible turning point on the inside of the piece, you can't get that flat on the table. So you get your piece and you fold it up and then you wet it and then you're going to have to use your fingers and just hand sand on the inside. And after I finish with the 400, I'm going to do the exact same thing with a 600 grade. So I have my 400 grade paper and then I have 600 grade after that. And same process with the 600. Okay, now I'm up to the 600 paper. And you do the same thing that you did with the 400 paper. You put it in some water. I mean, as long as you're getting 600 wet dry paper, of course. Put it in the water. And now I'm going to be taking off the small sand marks that was made with the four, 400 paper that aren't all off there. I'm going to make it a little bit smoother than it was. And again, I'm just you just use the table as a hard surface. When it gets painted, and I'm trying to cover up those last little bits of lines, which will be covered by paint and then by sticker. And so the next part will be the painting process.